everyone. Thank you so much for coming by today because I am excited to make this mini chicken and waffles. And I have never made this before in my life. I just bought a waffle machine, so this is happening. And it's also something I usually don't order or at all. <laughs> so I am very excited to try this out, especially since they're mini. Um, so I'm pumped for this. One thing I should warn you is I did actually go ahead and make the chicken in advance. So what I did for that was I used a meat tenderizer, I pounded it out, I cut it up into cubes, and then I mixed that with buttermilk and egg, and I let that sit in the refrigerator for, well, it's been about six hours now. <laughs> so it is marinated and ready to go. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our honey, our hot honey mixture on the stove. Uh, so let's get started. The only other thing I will mention is that if you hear thunder, it's because it's storming right now. So if you see me blow away, you know what happened. All right, so let's get started. All right, so our first step is to make the hot honey. So we have a whole cup of honey here. I'm gonna add this to our pan. And this is gonna be over like medium heat. So, okay, honey down. We're gonna use some red pepper flakes. And some sriracha. You can already hear Lewis maybe complaining about the heat. So let's see. And we're gonna stir, 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 stir. And we want this to become runny, so we're gonna let this sit for a couple minutes. And we want, oh, I already smell the heat. <laughs> and then we are going to take this off and let it cool, but uh, this should take a couple minutes, but we want that honey to be really runny and thin. So we'll let that sit and we'll come back. Okay, so our hot honey is done. It's been about two minutes, and if you can see, it's really runny. So I'm gonna take it off, and we're gonna let it cool for 10 minutes. Now it's time to make our waffles. Okay, so it's time to make our Belgian waffles. All right, so we are first gonna take our buttermilk, and we're gonna whisk that together with our milk. Some vegetable oil egg yolks and oh egg yolks we want to get all the egg yolk in there okay and last but not least the vanilla extract so let's whisk this together All right, so one thing I need to grab before we add on anything else is my sifter because we're gonna sift in our flour and our sugar and some kosher salt and baking powder. So let me grab my sifter and then we'll add the rest of this together. Okay, so I'm gonna use my sifter here. I'm gonna use a bigger one. I know it's a kind of like a colander, but this works. So we're gonna add in our flour. All right, done. Gonna add in our sugar, our baking powder, and our salt. And now we're gonna mix it all together. I do have my waffle maker on right now. It's warming up, it's getting ready for me. Okay, our next step is to take our egg whites, because remember we only use the egg yolks for this. And we are gonna uh, mix this together until we have some nice peaks. So I'll get this going. It 
see how this looks. Look at that. It's so cloudy and pretty. Ready? I think we are ready to go. All right. So let's add our egg whites. There we go. Into here. And we're going to fold these in. So let me get this out. We don't need this anymore. We're going to fold it into our batter. It's a very interesting way of making batter, but I'm here for it. You don't want any streaks, so really got to mix it or fold it in. I think our batter is ready for our waffle maker first time. Let's do this. All right, so let's make our first waffle. I have a half a cup of uh, half a cup here. I'm going to use that to spread onto here. I already sprayed the nonstick spray, and I guess that's enough. I guess it'll smush. No, I'm going to do a little bit more to get it all in there. Okay. Okay. Let's close it and turn it this way. All right. Four minutes in there. So we'll come back in four minutes to see how this comes out. Cross fingers. All right. Let's take out our first waffle. Looks perfect. Yes. Very exciting. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> Except the execution. <laughs> That's okay. All right, I'm gonna spray it again. My worst nightmare is having to clean this out. All right, so let's do another scoop or so. Find that I need a little bit more. So let's get this all in there. Be just a smidge more to get this. All right, there we go. All right. All right, look at that perfect waffle. And I didn't get it on any of the edges. I mean, talk about perfection. Okay, all right, so I am gonna take this, I'm gonna put this in the oven, I'm gonna wrap these together and Put these in the oven to keep cool. We'll go through the rest of the batter, but let's get started on our chicken now. Who's ready? All right, so let's get our chicken in the oil. So I have the oil going right now. It's heating up to 350 as we speak, but in the meantime, let's put together our spices. So we have our flour, and we got onion powder, paprika, black pepper, uh, parsley, uh, kosher salt, onion salt, and it's all going in. And cornstarch. Oh, none of it came out. <laughs> all right, Didn't, it wasn't ready. It doesn't want to go in the oil today. All right. Oh, why it's really sticking. Okay. All right, let's whisk this together. Alrighty, smells good. Now let's head over to the stove and we'll go one by one with our chicken. Um, they are cubed, so they're smaller, so we'll be able to put a couple in to the oil each time. So let's head over. And we are going to take a piece of chicken. Actually, you know what? Let me get a spoon that is 
Add some. Oh, there we go. Let's use this. A little serrated, or not serrated, has a little hole in the bottom. Do that. Take it in. And throw it in. One in. Let's keep it going. Oops. I think I can put a couple of these in here and smush them around though. There we go. This should be on for like three or four minutes, she says. Let's start with those for now and see what happens. In the meantime, I'm gonna get these ready. All right, so these are all done. I have my prepared pan here with some paper towels on it. I'm gonna set them off to the side and we'll go through the rest of the chicken and by the time you see next we're going to be trying them out okay y'all it is time to try our mini chicken and waffles it smells so good i'm very excited about this so let's pour on a little syrup or honey and let's try it Okay, I can get behind this. This is really good. It is really tasty. The chicken, on the, the flavoring on the chicken is so, so good. I love how the chicken came out and the waffle is amazing. The syrup is so good. I was a little nervous about the syrup. I thought maybe it might be too hot, but it's really good. I will definitely be making this again, either separately or together. <laughs> always a waffle I'll take that and this is some really good fried chicken so I might even make you know just regular chicken not small and use that same kind of that flavoring and that batter so delicious I love this I wasn't expecting to like it as much as I did um, super good if you make it at home let me know what you think about it thank you so much for stopping by to watch me make this for Magnolia cookbook volume number three uh, if you make it let me know and I'll catch you next time see ya Almost done. All right, so that is on. Uh, stir together the honey and pepper flakes. Wow. Yummy. It's good.